you take it from me right today, oh mother, we take it for you tomorrow. I turn up for one person. I turn up for one person. It's a matter of time. Oh my God, where's up? He just, you know, he's good. I turn is a lesson, yeah, but it is ahead. I turn is a lesson, better days ahead. Sweet sweet is our love. I want to make the haja. Go alone, mama. Sweet cassava is just not for good alone. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much, Professor Jones Topo, a legend of our time. We will not harvest the knowledge from the old man. We sit down when he die. Just like Joseph said, Guanu, the man who wrote most of the history books, whether they are accurate or inaccurate, for me, it doesn't matter. His contribution to the country is what matters. So at the end of the day, I'm looking at the old man languaging in abject poverty while people roam in the corridors of ignorance with wealth. <laughs> in the corridors of power, they shatter the dreams and aspirations of a people so desperately in need of rescue. However, I'm here today, my team is very specific. If you look at my team, you don't need to be told what the message is. But I come with facts. Before I go into some of the details I'd like to share with you, let me remind my detractors that I am not swayed by the winds of ignorance. If you go and pay someone to come after me on a platform that is not legitimately recognized by members of the international community, that is more or less used as a comedy show to entertain people on days like these. I mean, who takes them serious? Fangon speaks, American ambassador towards the country. Fangon speaks in 24 hours. American ambassador is at the Public Works Ministry to assure Liberians that America will begin to contribute to the infrastructural development of the country. I don't go sit. You can pay all the money you want to pay with Prophet Key. My mother is 83 years old. And to sit on a platform and insult her repeatedly, I'm not the first. And that is why I told Stanton Witherspoon, I cannot appear on your platform. If I do so, you have to pay me. I will not go on your platform free. The same cannot be said for other people's platforms. You take a man who does not dignify women in any way, regardless of their age, he will go 
all out and cuss them out. You want to cuss me? Cuss me. But if you have to cuss my 83-year-old woman, you are a coward. You are an intellectual buffoon. And your buffoonery is linked to the people in the government that hire you. That is why they're failing and the government is about to implode. Because they fight amongst themselves. They gossip worse than a Zimbabwean woman. Whole day, instead of hauling books, pencils, school materials to schools, they sit around the corridors of power and haul gossips and lies to the office of the president with the hope that they will be rewarded. And in most cases, they are rewarded for their insignificant contribution to a state and its ravishing economy. Our people did not sign up for that. Now they fight so much amongst themselves. And I told them, don't provoke me. Do not provoke me. But the provocation keeps coming. But I don't drink my soup when it's hot. Because I will lose the taste from a burnt tongue. There is something on your tongue called taste bud, buds. That's, that is exactly what gives you the taste of your food. So if you eat it when it's hot, you'll never enjoy it. It will give you no taste. It will give you pee. After one year, I didn't even strike. I just told them simple one truth. And the whole country goes into chaos, into a chaotic coma. A chaotic coma. You know, see coma, coma, chaotic. When you're in a coma, you should be sleepy. But a chaotic coma. That is just a warm up. The people you're running to to pay lump sum of money. Do they know what a classroom is to learn propaganda? They then go to school to study political science. How many years of experience do they have? You get Bobo then sitting down on set, stutter us then. People who cannot speak appropriate English have no idea of what subject verb agreement is. Nurses won't be politician. Musicians now turn to politician. Even being their own now, talking nonsense into politics. But when the real man sets before you, you know the man is here. And that's why I will not let them gain popularity at my expense. I want to focus on the issue that matters most to the Liberian people. A typical example of what I am telling you happened day before yesterday. I'm sitting at my friend's African shop. And everybody sending me these uh, links of the little boy called Classic D. You might want to go listen to him. In fact, hundreds of them, not hundreds of them, the 100 people he had, majority of them reported his page. So he had to start all over. An example of what I'm telling you is that the gentleman sat on his set telling people how I went very low. I did not study the street code. I was crying. And he, he's a person that talks to me every week or two. We talk behind the scene. Why? Even if you're suffering, why? Oh, he got you preaching. He brought people onto his platform. Many of you listening were there. And if you are my witness, speak here or forever hold your peace. He brought people on the platform. They were denigrating me. After he had given the people all the fake stuff. I didn't say anything. But I went under his live feed and I typed. I am here. I can speak for myself. 
He here. Then the other guy on the platform said, it's a fake profile, it's a fake profile. They said, bring him on with no. They saw my face. And some of you here, Emmanuel Ama said, I saw it. You are witnesses. They wanted to start the Liberian thing of screaming. Emmanuel Gomaya uh, said, I saw it. Roland Pio will say, I saw it. The man who say, you talk to me every week. I was crying. I did. They want to take sin yes, You have my witnesses? I have a repetition. I have integrity. Why do you think the Americans listen to me? I only say, hey, let's not yell. The Liberian people deserve better. Let's not do the Liberian thing here. I beg you. My friend, you say every week you can talk to me. We and you can cry behind the scene. I'm quoting you. My dear brother, when was the last time you spoke to me? He now answered. Go back to a page. Two months ago, I said, you asking me? You now asking me? More than three months ago, that you are telling people who will talk behind the scene. <laughs> I said, leave that one. Let my second question. Let it come. Beg you. Because the first one, I'm not. Since that thing happened, you say I can talk to you. will talk behind the scene every week or so. It's been four days now. Have you called me? He said, no. Everybody here confessing. Y'all look at y'all read the feed. He said, no. I said, you say I went and lied to the Liberian people. No minister in Georgia government have ever washed car with champagne. I said, have you ever heard the name? Uh, what's his name? Potter, Imaiwa Potter, assistant minister for logistics. Then the two person on the show said, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have integrity. That's why I do facts versus fiction. I'm not here to put Gucci clothes on, green coat suit, hold Gucci cup in my hand, or big gold. This is not about my country. I'm not a faction idiot. So when I come, I come with facts. And I deal with the issues. So these petty things don't bother me. But I did it to put him in disrepute. Because he does not understand himself. When you got to spell over, O-V-E-R, if you were spelling O-V-E-N, my friend, you and myself don't have intellectual property issue. There's no way I will fire you. You are not in my league. The other gentleman sitting on the set saying, Joe, we are getting information about me today. He was spilling it out. He expected me to come respond to him. Even if they said, Joe, we are stupid. That you, Joe, we are, who not caught Joe, we are mad. What day? That woman in her grave, then her son would call you to get you information about me. Or you scared to say, Eugene Nangbe and his group. Are you out can't listen to? What did I get to gain from you? You scared of me to cost me. So you got to cost my 83 year old mother to please. Your bosses, you are a fool. I want to deal with the issues in my country. Because all of you are looking for, the other man, Cassidy said, oh, I want to 148. You think I'm going to count on? Straight, 760. I don't do fake profile. And today, I will show you how it can work. I don't have money to pay people in Atlanta to give me views. Who will hire people in India and Philippines? And if you did, a leak. Don't think I think we know a long time ago. I think you saw me go from one. I beg you to share at 486. The people who can be having 4,000 views when they finish their video on Facebook can say 2,003 views.
Then my uncle can say 6,000 views. <laughs> I, 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 I don't do those things. I'm a real person and I'm going to keep it real. So I'm here today. So today you ain't know, you will know at the subsequent time. Don't be in a hurry. Listen to me and listen well. If you play cards, space, and you say now yeah, you say now well, you know fully well. You got your card to your chest. Watch me carefully. This person to your right hand side is supposed to play. It means that it will go around and come to you. You will be the last man to play. Why you want to take your jack and throw it down? Or your joker and throw it down? If you put your joker down, you will scare a man from putting a queen or a A down. I'm speaking to an intelligent person listening to me. If you put your jack down, it could fool them, woman, or the other person. You the last to play. Lead them, let them put an A. Let the other one put a king. Let the other one put a queen. Let the other one put the jack. You know you only got choke up. But what do you have in your hand? You got 10. So, if you use the joker, you will clear all of them. Then your 10 will become the highest card. If those are the last sets going around, it's intelligence. I only get telling, don't provoke me. The country going into chaotic chaos. If I say I responded to provocation, what do you think will happen in the country? If the U.S. government sanctioned three officials, less than 24 hours, you suspend all three Less than 24 hours. If the second sanction list come up with 35 persons on board, 10 from the past government, 20 from your government, you have already sent the presidents. Will you suspend the 20? Yes, you'll be forced to. Even though nobody will force you, but you'll be forced to, morally. If you suspend 20% out of your government, wouldn't your government collapse? Definitely. 20 plus 3 will be equal to 23. 23 persons of officials out of your government. It means your government is done. But if 23 persons within your government are accused of corruption it means what your government is corrupt and the people will force you to resign it will not be because you corrupt it will be because your government is corrupt therefore the people will force you to resign <laughs> I think a simple ABC but here is the issue Many people don't know. I will tell them. When you build a government around policies within a system, around policies within a system, that government is solid. But when the small my children they don't know what to do, and they have to turn to some big brothers and sisters within the government. Then there is an issue. And when that happens, an implosion is inevitable unless the requisite things are done. What do we mean by that? When I told Liberians that they took a George we are engine, I meant what I said. Because the car that George Weah drove, I was the battery. I'm not saying it boastfully or braggingly, but many of you know. When they took out my, the battery from his car, he decided to use someone else's battery to jumpstart his car. 
Now they've removed the engine. For the last, since they removed Nathaniel Magill, you say, oh, I say Magill, Magill. If you are living in Liberia, tell your friends. The whole country loaded, say very soon. The whole country get loaded, nothing happening there. And you know me, I don't lie to you. Nobody in the government know what to connect or know what to do again. Nobody in the government knows where to connect or what to do. And George Weah will not be the one to tell them what to do. Because for the past five years, he was not in that capacity, did not have that ability, and did not call the shots at the lower level, but at the higher level. So right now, everybody on their own. We're supposed to have a Ministry of Youth and sports. There's one person in that ministry, and Prince Johnson can get verse with me. I will tell him, Papa, I'll throw you the truth. Well, they said, Mr. S4, Mr. S4 was running with Prince Johnson. So what? This woman tells everybody that George Weah will be a first term president. This woman openly condemns the government on a daily basis, yet she will not resign. So instead of having a ministry of youth and sports, you now have a ministry of football fee. That's why you have now a ministry of football fee. Because there is fighting consistently within the regime. Simple things, simple, simple things, like printing t-shirts. Well, why am I getting, why am I getting, why, 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 the president, Picture. What has that one got to do with anything? They will fight for that one. Why am I going to put on the panel? They fight just like children. And quite recently, I can tell anybody, I saw something and I was baffled. I said to myself, I said, ah! What time all the people then were complaining? They were complaining. I'm looking for it. They said, oh, why am I going to put a, a, a picture with the president? People will say, because you're friendly with my day. Okay? They will say, because you're friendly with my day. But I come to speak the truth. And I cannot speak the truth without giving you an idea of what I'm talking about. They fought for T-shirt. Let me show you. I will see if I can bring it on. Uh -huh. So when I saw this recently, and most of the people will not be the one printing it, that their followers can print it. Their followers. Huh? He printed on a t-shirt? Why he printing a t-shirt? Why are you gonna? So I saw one t-shirt with twelve and the president. I said, correct. Let me see what other t-shirt. I see one. With you were and the president. I see another one and another one with different different people. So I started wondering to myself, there, yeah, show it to you at another time. I wonder to myself, why do these people fight? Simple things. Why do they fight? So now, with the exit of McGill from the Ministry of State, an implosion. It's about to happen. Because if you appoint, it will be the equivalent of dismissal. <laughs> if you leave the people suspended, the same people you suspend, and you appoint, it is implied. Uh, educated people, are you following me? You are members of the intelligentsia. If you leave them suspended, and you appoint, it is implied. That they dismissed. Then it could fuel the unwarranted and unnecessary tension within the ranks and files of the what? The party establishment and by extension the government. And the people are saying, from what I am hearing, 
they will only resign when they constitute the investigative committee to investigate them. That's why I tell people. They say, come and investigate us. My girl, what the president? Let's be intelligent. Let's be intelligent. He wrote the president and asked the president to give him his day in court. Uh -uh. Mr. President, why are you refusing? Uh, constitute a committee and investigate the man. Every day, hey, investigate. The man said, investigate me now. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Other people just say now. But there's one wrote to you and say, investigate me. And ask the U.S. government to be part of the investigation. We're sitting down now. What are I saying now now? You see what I'm saying? What are I sitting down? How can somebody say to you, investigate me? And you're wasting time. The government is ready to implode. Since my girl left the scene, who was her? Like a friend. No, 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 no. Ask people living in Barovia. Some of y'all living in Barovia. Confirm what I'm saying. The whole town is like it's dead. You know why? Partially to, to an extent. Let's be intelligent. The only thing you could hear was, Mage, Twe, Mage, Twe, Mage, Twe, Mage, Twe. So all the other people are going to hate themselves. Now I'm going to get out. To have focus on the money. How the government running now? How the government running? It's like we don't have a government right now. An implosion is inevitable unless. An implosion. It's inevitable unless. Solicitor General. Oh, and you see the thing about us. When we take on a position. We like the kind of authoritative modes, mode. That micromanage everything. Micro with an I. We don't like the one with an A. We don't like to have division of labor. Because we're this small group. <laughs> now they took on the president engine to even push the car. Nobody know how to shift the gear in neutral. Yeah. The president said I don't even know where the car parking right now. And I'm, I'm being honest. He does not know where his car is parked. Right now. And I want to say this to everybody listening under the tune of my voice. There is a serious administrative vacuum, if you don't know, right now. And it puts the Americans in a serious position. And I'm challenging the Americans to challenge me. It puts them in a serious position. What position does it put them in? The Americans knew that if they come directly for President Weir, it would have created a power vacuum that would have resulted in a chaotic situation that would have culminated into political instability that would have led to the complete collapse of the state. We're speaking real high-level thing here, man. That's why I can't break it down in like brain English. I want support to hear it. Who can hear it? I want some phone out yay. But they also wanted to send a message to him that if we, you are here, if we can reach right here, know that we can come right here. But we know what will happen. So we have calculated the risk associated with our actions. And we're looking at the cost. And we do not want it to outweigh the benefits. Therefore, we reroute our policy, yet get our message to you. 
you ever see, if you are a critical thinker, you ever see President sleeping, American ambassador go there soon in the morning, nearly what pepper. The president can't also in trousers with slipper, long sleeve shirt, and take picture. You not know who they call president. I must speak like very English. Eh? What kind of thing you had to talk? You couldn't talk it on the phone. What it was so important, you gotta go wake up your friend, Makate, so in the morning. Makate been around Africa for long. He know that the time to get deaf news in the village. It's early in the morning. I want somebody to tell me, say, Fagon, you didn't lie. Bad news. You will never see people get bad news in the evening. Soon in the morning, 5.30, that when they can get bad news. It went soon in the morning. President had to wake up well, trust it. Lost the shadow, all around the party said, we're not fasting. What is so much? But again, they calculated the risk. If we impose sanction on President we are we will create a power vacuum. And there will be a scramble. The situation will be chaotic. It will lead to political instability, which will culminate into the co co complete collapse of the state. All of our gains made will be lost. Somebody listen to me. So right now, there is a message. I'm not the one to give it. And I'm not going to assume or predict. Because you know what? In politics, even five minutes is enough time. So President, we have got time. If you want to know why are men thinking? Get to the press, the person closest to them. I did not like, I like Koji, but I did not like his speech on Kerry Street. His speech on Kerry Street sounded like a complete defiance. It sounded like a complete defiance. And it sounded like a message that they wanted in the middle of the street. That we got the people. And it's true. They got the people. But when you have the people, you must have the support of the people. That I cannot guarantee. Because five minutes before I say 13 months is enough time. Too much time. Right now, if you're listening to me today. Take this from me. The situation in Liberia now looks like this. And I'm going to paint for you a picture in your mind through a story that I'm about to tell you. If you are a true Liberian and you love Liberia, I want you to think about this story. Don't let it give you headache. Just think about it. Liberia is that beautiful 22-year-old girl. Or if you like, make it 20. If you don't like, make it 19. Her father is the United States of America. Follow me. Follow with me. Please. Liberia is the 20-year-old girl. Her father is the United States of America. There is a guy by the name of George Weir that is dating the 20-year-old girl. George Weir is very nice to the girl. Nice is subject to interpretation. You know he can kiss her good? Or he makes love to her in a way she's never experienced before. She's very young. He takes her on the beach. He walks her near the ocean front. 
But her father does not like George Weah because George Weah can smoke, because George Weah can go to the nightclub, because George Weah ain't let church business. And George Weah is doing his business, but he don't want to go to college. And oh, Godfather America, he believed that George Weah should go to church every Sunday and be involved with the church. That George Weah should go to college and get a master's degree instead of doing his small business. He also believed that George Weah should be dressed in kosu and tie, not jean trousers and sneakers. What am I trying to get to here? The girl father loves her to death. He's very wealthy and strong. But in his mind, she's messing with the wrong guy. To her, George Weah means the world. The question for daddy, all powerful, lots of money daddy. If I beat that begin almost to death, my daughter could commit suicide. If I tear a fool, my daughter could disown me. If I quarter him and disgrace him in the street, my daughter will run off with him. Is somebody following me? Is somebody following me? So, the United States is caught between the rock and the hard place. Her daughter loves this guy. But every parent loves the kid better. But you know where the problem is now with this daddy? Daddy, you got money, but you don't give your daughter money to borrow on. And I'm telling you the truth from the bottom of my heart. Your daughter wants to wear jean string because you like church. You don't think she needed. it. We are buys it. Your daughter likes to go on the beach and to the movies. You said she shouldn't go. The only man that dead takes us is we are. You don't want her to wear high heat sandals. We are buys it. And when they go out, when she's coming home, when she's on her way home, she gives it back to him. He put it in his closet. You don't want your daughter to look big. We are makes her look big. Therefore, we are in a situation, my parents. And that's why I said it could backfire. You don't want this person. But your daughter is in love. So now. You got to be careful how you deal with the situation. Because if you go to her job. And you made them fire him. The girl will even love him more. She will start stealing your money to get to him. If you make them expel him from the school. She could run off with him now. To another place. Another county to go live. It's a very tough. But from the other side of the team of my program today, the government is waiting to implode if care is not taken. I heard about a meeting at Jamaica yesterday. Strong meeting. But what will it produce? All of them are friendly with each other. Most of them don't visit each other. A bulk of them don't know about each other like that. Echo. The ministers them, most of the ministers are 20 years older than their assistant, not deputy, assistant ministers. They don't hang out. They don't even sit together to talk. Most of the assistant ministers don't even know what the ministers are doing. Because there's a vast, there's a big age gap, big professional gap, big knowledge gap, big exposure gap, big, I'm going to be saying big all day, that my own job.
and they don't go seeking knowledge. Like Prophet Kiki can say, you know what I make a call job out, Pete Papa? But Prophet Kiki then came from village. So how do we understand why we say Big Papa? Big Papa in our language means the big man, Big Papa. If I talk about Kung, I talk about Kuba. Kung, Kuba. Don. That be here with no ear will not even understand what I'm talking about. I tell that people, say, I won't get in let low. He won't even know what I'm talking about. He just born yesterday on the Moroccan people table. You can't put more on CMN. man. Tell him know the street. You don't know nothing. But yes, when they say assistant ministers, then she can't line up. Church, we have took that decision because it's like he was traumatized and abused too often for being too young. To be in government. And in retaliation to that generation, you see the likes of Mama Sikaba, Titi, Mama Sikaba, Chendo, Titi Swain. Mama Sikaba can be my daughter. Titi Swain, Lens and Mars. Eddie Chawale, Minister of Justice. Abby Wizard, Minister of Agriculture. Young, young comrades. So again, when you want to sit down with your bosses, you look at their ages, you say, I don't belong there. Nobody knows what to do right now. You know? Like, one of my, uh, uh, what you call it kind of people, fake profile. He said, you know everything, but you get you got play for a fool. But he coming on a fake profile to attack. He don't even know that you play fool to gain what? Somebody answer him. You have to play the fool to gain what? That's why I'm one of the few that came back alive. Because the opposition wanted my head so much. And half of my people wanted it too. So I go on the side, they will zing me. I go on and saw they will zing me. So I stay between the two people and remain what? Unzingable. See your hair fly like catfish. You know, so again, we as a country and as a nation, where we sit right now, we need to pray for our country and we need to start thinking. Because when America put it behind you, throughout my years of living, I need somebody to tell me here that I am lying. When America put it behind you, it can't end until it ends. True or false? When America starts like this, no matter what you do, my brother, it will not end until it ends. Is somebody feeling me? If they go their way, can't make it, they will rest. If they go their side, can't make it, they will rest. If they go their side, they can't make it, they will rest. But they will never give up until they get what they want. They will never give up. Until they get what they want. So. The wisest thing to do. Is to hold your people. And reach out to the Americans. In a very humble way. And ask them. I have come for your instructions. The only thing you should look for there. Is the instruction that will get rid of you. All the other one I will not get rid of you. Execute it. I'm telling you. If you see that it will get rid of you, then you think twice. But if they're not for you, then what do I mean by that? If they brush oil around you, begin to you, you can't die. So you gotta be able to explain yourself. I can't clean oil around me, then I don't nobody. 
Folks, let's make progress of something I notice. The fellow you see them writing about, Kevin Boyman, Kevin Boyman. I beg to differ because what I see is pure jealousy coming from unpolished and ignorant individuals, I'm sorry to say. You want to run the propaganda, but in the process you want to destroy a young man out of jealousy. So you lie. You lie on him. All of them, and this is where I come in with facts versus fiction. The fact is, Jawiyah government took power in 2018, January 22nd. Somebody now hearing me. January 22nd, 2018, they took power. East Company, 2010. Quality Company, 2013. How is Miguel the owner of that company? The same Miguel you say never had a cent. And he stole money to buy a horse. That the Miguel now you say was only the multi million dollar company. You see trouble? And the owner using it to destroy this young man. Because he was young, went to school and studied and came back. May he lay company. There's so many UP people that are trying to destroy him today and some of the other people. It's the same people that gave him contract yesterday when Maguey was nobody. How is it now that Maguey owned this company? The third company that you were dealing with before. That you gave the multi-million dollar contract to. How? In one of the writings which I will show you here, Okay. The other man say the coin strong but not picking. He say, and I'm reading the manager of Nathaniel Maguey Bogus Companies in Liberia, where all major contracts were directly awarded. Some of those contracts were either not carried out or were carried out without the right specification. Amen. Amen. Kevin went on several trips out of the country. And there are several accounts associated with Maggie and Kevin in the company he runs. What did the boy do to you? Or because he's too young and too smart. I'm finished you. One by one, I'll show the Liberian people. Kevin operated with absolute power, ignoring PPCC law, and on one occasion, he got into a first fight with the PPCC commissioner who refused to give into his demand for contract. Everybody believe. If you want to get to Maguey Financial, start with Kevin. If you want to get to Maguey Financial op Operation, start with Kevin. Kevin was deported from China for serving four years in jail. He was convicted on rape charges. How many Lebanese people you're not do the crap to? How many Lebanese people you're not do the nonsense to? I will, I, will, I, will, I will cite one particular instance. One particular instance with one so called journalist. And I, I, I'm, I'm just going to come to the point. You call me, I let her deal with facts. There's a, there's a guy by the name of Charles Yates. I saw him all by your cousin. He wrote, he said, Fagon got one girlfriend by the name of Dede on the SKD 72nd junction. She can go to Maguey House to collect Fagon money. Why do you do that? And Molba Yaba was cursing him for totally different thing. And Molba Yaba told him, of all your friends who can call a said journalist, you only want passing around. You even get news thing. What they can sell the newspaper ought to sell. 
You don't have this thing. And what really puzzled me about this guy, he went to a extent of writing, I don't know what he writing, the king thing. He said, man, look, it's good to show the librarian people the team, my brother. Don't be talking, to just show them. Wait a second. We for the set. Let my page load. I'll go typing. He said, he, he's writing to the Liberian people and saying, this boy used diplomatic passport to represent Liberia at a trade investment something. It means you're too damn stupid. You write your own thing, you can't read it. If the man is representing Liberia and he's not in the government, your country gave all the foreign and diplomatic passport. If they get a partner for Liberian, a diplomatic passport to represent his country, I'm quoting you. You, and you are quoting, to represent his country at a trade investment summit. You ain't right, you ain't pop up. I like, I like straight bang out here, I don't like paper tea. What is wrong with that? All because he not giving you his money. Let me put it. I'm gonna like put it read it. Tell the team from here. When they say like brand people, the how on the trouble looking. I don't know that swear or what. He says, another diplomatic passport cannot pass them. Now tell them again, Chief Operative Kevin Poima. Jacoma Poima in possession of Liberian diplomatic passport, parade himself as, parade himself, as you can see, as trade investment advisor to President Weah. He represented Liberia at the World Trade and Investment Forum in Israel, I mean, in Asia, sorry, last year. But to come, look at that kind of thing. Look at that kind of thing. You write your own team. Nobody won't be on you. You write your own team. If they get a diplomatic passport, a straight investment advisor to the president, you talk about his multi million dollar company already with the Chinese. You, you bring that one forward. Then you say he parades himself as a trade and investment advisor to the president. This is not Italian that you can get a passport to. This is not Lebanese and Syrian that you're giving the passport to. This is a Liberian citizen. Then you say he represented Liberia at the World Trade and Investment Summit in Asia. And you ask why they gave him diplomatic passport. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all want to kill him. Y'all go ahead, y'all go kill him. Then y'all wonder why Liberians don't have millionaires. Y'all wonder why Liberians don't have millionaires. Because if anybody here know Charles Yates, they should tell me what I'm going to say about Charles Yates now. The lie. He writes a dirty gold vein, and every day he will smoke four or five cigars and drink Guinness under the pee off on the road. So y'all can look at me, y'all say a lie now. On a very serious note, I need somebody to tell me a lie. But he's been paid by somebody. They must pay him to destroy another young Liberian. So that he can get paid. So like that, the Lebanese who want contracts, they will not hesitate to pay those kind of people. And they will come right here and some of you will believe them. That's why I'm showing it. So you can read it yourself. Okay. Obtain my child's yet. I'm looking like stupid men to you. you telling me a Liberian has diplomatic passport. And he went to Asia. At the World Trade Investment Summit. He not supposed to get diplomatic passport. Is he a Ghanaian? 
Is he a Why you always go to destroy your own people? You older than him, almost 10 years or 15. You older than him. He established a company in 2013. Ellie Johnson Salif will all oh, yama, yama, recognize him and get him contract. Where you know, company him? You won't go after Maggie. Go after Maggie. You know. The same way you don't know, go around begging every day from one ministry to the other ministry, from one bank to the other bank. That the same way he too can go around begging for contract. The only difference between your two, and I'm making it personal because I know how he lied on me. He said, Ted, I can go to Maggie. Dada has followed me to Maggie Hall one time. And it was not to me, my girl. It was for me to introduce her to Vivian. They were friends in the same house. Vivian, I told her so. I told her so. When she told me, I said, I don't believe it. She said, I swear. In our struggle days. So I decided to make the two old roommates meet again. And that was the first and the last time. You go put her poster up. Why you do this? Why are you going to go beg for money to go buy cigar and Guinness? You think you get it right to go pay for contract? And if you go into Asia, according to you, according to you, that who passport is going to carry the one he paid for? If you go going to represent a bureau. That he passed for his own use. What wrong with you, man? I pull it, pull it out. They said, because my So now you won't bring him down. All of you are writing all kind of garbage about him. All kind of garbage. All the Lebanese people in the town. You think they can get contract with all giving something? That question I'm asking you. You think they do that? If you think the perfect when they're eating the labrempo, not perfect. Labrempo is so, so, in their own country. They're not so they get contract. How many Lebanese people are not ready about that? Kwasia. Now you're not going to gang up to bring Kevin Boyman down. And I'm not talking for him because me, when I catch him, said I slap, I'll put in here. But. It hurts me as a nationalist. You will praise all the Italian people. All the Lebanese people. They be giving you a cigar. They you. They gave you one crate of Guinness. One crate of cigar. And you will destroy the Liberian to promote them. You will make the Liberians lose their contract. Just so they can get it. I got a friend, Nana. Mark up ticket. I'll call him right here. Marco ticket looking for contract all around the place. Fawaz then taking Marco ticket and contract. Because of people like you. You don't want to see your Liberians go up. You will fight to bring a transit down. And promote the Lebanese, the Indians, the Syrians. And that's why you will continue to remain beggars in your own country. You will continue to remain beggars. Other fool can look at me and say, Huh? Eh, 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 suffering, oh. You know what suffering is? Take my picture from Jawia government and tell the one right now, where the dad say I'm gonna lose 25 more pounds. Then you will know what they call suffering. It is wrong. Look back at the years the companies were they were uh, uh, established. But any time. And child here then, they were ready for early name. It was okay then, though, when they were getting the same company than the contract. The same company then crossed to Joel, you know, administration, they gave them the contract. Then because they're the early people that are not eating, so Kevin them went for that. The Fawaz then, the Jetty then, 
they set it in, they will be okay. Because on Saturday, you all got to go from door to door. Maggie then took power 2018. How can Maggie own companies that by record, the record? Now, we we better look for you. We're not going to look for it. They were given the contracts in 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that Maggie own it running behind that innocent child. The next thing you will see to kill him. To take his property and his things. Then you will say, oh, maybe you are linked to Magellan, some kind of mafia deal. You will leave that poor son. His mother just died. He just buried his mother. And he passed three weeks yet. Leave him. Call off for your cigar, different place. If you don't have Guinness, I'm your man, call me up. I will arrange one quick for you. If I don't do it, then anything you look, I'm looking for, I'm not getting it. Leave him alone. He can't write, you say, he may represent La Bro. Now, Indian man, the Indian poor guy your diplomatic passport. Lebanese people get it, Italian and get it. Liberian get it, you chasing him. All the people about the passport scanner, then you see, you see it. Then you look at some man like me and say he represented that bro. That kind of passport is what you carry. That your Ghanaian cousin passport. Then you say, oh, he running fake. Why y'all can be so jealous? Why? And all the things that you see leaking, the guy can go look for a different player. All the things that you see can happen. That the same CDC people fighting each other. Day and night, they fighting each other. Then they wonder why the government and party going the way it's going. I won't talk something here today, but I don't want people to come say, oh, you divisive. Oh, you divisive. Ellen came to power, call all the boring. The whole mama point up there. All two single. She took contract from them for the horses. They renovated it. They lay down in America eating their own money. No noise. You will never see them fight for power. Because they only need one person to be in power other than set. You will never see them betray each other. And anytime you take them from power, you know the old telecom belly, they turn it into wash, water and sanitation. It used to be all telecom building in Singapore. What's we on a 24th Street? No. No. 24th Street. Yeah. 17 or 18. Somebody will soon put it here. Opposite the old telecom building, they were the born and sit every evening. They're not working, but they're not broke. They're not working, but you won't drink any expensive liquor. Go there. They're not working, but you don't need to care money. Thank you, Emmanuel Swain, 17th Street. Oh, I confused. 18th Street at 18th Street. 17th Street at my old gas station. I play out working. They sit there near that garage on that tree. Go see them. But the jacket, your small chance. You're fighting. You won't bring each other down. Let me see anybody talk nonsense about that label. It's a challenge. You don't want to talk about Seti. You don't want to talk about Jetty. You don't want to talk about Fawas. Do you talk about them? 
Do you talk about them? What's that now? He's very young. When he uses his head, how you will ever in your lifetime, how you will ever see a Labrim millionaire? When? A Labrim business millionaire who never worked in the government. He did a business. Kalono, then you can be accusing of coming from Sierra Leone. Idris Baba, then you're accusing of coming from Sierra Leone. Why you don't go to them? Because you don't know what they will do to you. A hint to the wise is quite sufficient. Foolish people. Tomorrow, there will be a breaking news. Tomorrow, there will be a breaking news. Brace yourself for it. It will happen. Thank you, uh, Kate Cottle Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Potter and others. It is a sad thing. You don't want to work. You know you don't get your own newspaper. You're not doing anything. You know when you go to the Lebanese people, they will only get you one cigar. And get you 20 bucks to go buy your Guinness. That's why I say leave him the hell alone. You want Guinness come to me, I'll give you a quit. And it will be damn cool. It's so sad. You leave all the BB Lebanese people. You will not rest until you bring down a poor Liberian. Because you want to tie him to Maggie. Because you want to bring him down. If possible, kill him and take his property and money. Then you'll say you're a journalist. What is that? Tomorrow the breaking news will be at 1 p.m. So stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. 